I would say that the first thing that many investors look to diversify into uh, in periods of high inflation and rising rates are real assets and real estate in particular. Many investors, many retail investors are diversified in real estate through the ownership of a home. Um, but uh, if you're a renter, uh, then there's other ways to diversify into real estate. REITs are an example, a public market example of diversified, uh, diversified real estate exposure. Uh, and then of course, private real estate, which tends to not be quite as volatile just because the transaction sort of timing is, is trickier and there's less liquidity, but also tends to be a good diversifier for inflation and a bit of a hedge against inflation due to the sort of the fact that most rental contracts in commercial real estate are tied to inflation. So it has kind of a built-in natural hedge. The other area to look at for diversification at this point are other types of real assets, commodities. They've had a spectacular run Lately, with oil prices climbing, gold climbing, the Ukraine war affecting the price of many foodstuffs that get built into commodities. So um, the trick with commodities is uh, I, we would advocate for sort of a, a periodic allocation to commodities, but perhaps not a strategic allocation, um, basically because commodities don't necessarily have a natural rate of return. Um, their natural rate of return is actually slightly negative. So uh, they're a good thing to have uh, as inflation's climbing. But right now, that train may have left the station.